Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Nobody, and today I'm here to bring you the finale of my Sonic Generations Let's Play. And before we take on the final boss, I've decided to just take a look around the extras menu, where we get to take a look at all the cutscenes in the game, we get to take a look at a lot of the art that we've unlocked, we get to listen to the tunes that we've unlocked from past Sonic games. And yeah, this is really cool. Like, I like the little player that they have set up. It tells you what game it's from originally, with the original design for the uh, logo. That's, it's all really cool. You get a bunch of different songs in this game too. Green Forest is a really, really good one. <laughs> um, you also get to take a look at a lot of the characters, but here's some of the uh, some of the uh, concept art. I'm not going to show you all of it because, uh, well, then there'd be no point to you know you playing the game. And unlocking it yourself. But the final thing you need to look at is all the characters that you have unlocked. And I unlocked, I mean, you know, encountered in the game. And with Sonic, Tails, and one other character, you get to switch between their classic and modern counterparts. I wonder which one. Couldn't be Metal Sonic, could it? Nah. But anyway, guys, that does it for the extra stage, so let's just blast ourselves all the way over to the opposite end of the stage, where we will finally, or the opposite end of the hub world, where we will finally take on the final boss and discover what the hell's been going on to Sonic and his friends, and why the world's all topsy-turvy and white. But before we can do that, we have to repair all the gears, and in order to do that, it's basically a way to make you collect all the Chaos Emeralds in case you've gotten this far and didn't fight all the mini-bosses. Or the, you know, yeah, the mini bosses. Um, you just fix the gears by uh, jumping and passing near the center. And the Chaos Emerald that you unlocked in order will repair the gear, and then you just take it all the way up to the top. And, well, then you go to the boss stage. <laughs> Ugh, come on! I really did not like the way that they designed this whole gimmick behind making the gears work. I, just, I, don't, I don't like the whole... I don't like having to wait for the gears to turn to get to a particular area before I can insert the next one. I'd like to be able to just do it all in one go because I'm stubborn like that. Having to wait for the gears to carry me up to the top is slow. I don't like to be slow. I gotta go fast. Also, just something that I felt like bringing up, why is time always shown, and I think I brought this up earlier, but this is like the biggest example. The, this is literally the inner workings of a clock that opens a portal to the purest form of time, I guess. I don't know exactly where this is, but this is the dimension outside of time, and it's riddled with clockworks and the inner workings of a watch and mechanism, and it's just like, why? For once in our life, in our sad, sad, lonely lives, can we not have something that's basically just simple? It's like a simple doorway. Or even better yet, just a mist portal that says this is what time relates to. Does it have to be clocks? Sheesh, but that's just me. Me and my whining. But look, we've activated the portal. And now, once we go in, we'll be treated with a cutscene and a boss fight. And I will see you guys on the other side. Okay, whatever you are. If you want to avoid an embarrassing beatdown, you better give up now. You're not in a position to demand anything, you nasty little pincushion. Eggman? But how? He had a little help. Dr. Robotnik! Nobody calls me that anymore. If you would be so kind as to explain, gentleman genius Dr. Eggman from the future. It will be my pleasure, most excellent and efficacious Dr. Eggman of the past. After my most recent setback, I stumbled upon the primordial form of this unique creation, which I discovered had amazing abilities even I have never been able to master. It could erase time and space. I then had the brilliant idea to use my discovery to undo my previous defeats. 
In order to perfect it, I needed the help of somebody as smart as I am. The only person that smart is me. Oh, you are too kind, my dear future self. And I was happy to help. I captured your friends, flinging them through time to bait my traps. But the more your monster tears through time, the more damage you do to the world. The world? I'm going to own the world when I'm finished with Sonic! Wow, will I really get that crazy? <laughs> we'll see who's crazy after I destroy both Sonics. Forever. You mean after we destroy them? Less arguing, more destroying. Destroy me? You and what mustache? I beat you all the time by myself, and now there's two of me. Then I'll have twice as much fun defeating you. was just to soften you up. Now it's time to meet your doom. Do it, Sonic! Come on, Sonic! Smack him! Uh, not you! You got this, Sonic. You can win, Sonic. Who are they? They are insignificant. You've got the power, Sonic. Focus your spirit. We're with you guys. I believe in you, Sonic. Don't give in, Sonic! I know you can do this, Sonic! You can win, Sonic! You always do! Time to scramble some Eggman! Super Sonic style! Right, so, final boss, Supersonic, Time Eater. Yeah, it, it, it's called the Time Eater. And we have been building up to this across nine episodes. We finally got to the 10th, it's the final boss fight. We've got two Supersonics, and I absolutely hate every single part of this boss fight. It is not well telegraphed at all what you're supposed to do. Okay, follow me here. The concept is very simple. Get to the boss's core, and just hold dash until you do damage to him. And you have to do that three times. You see that little green sphere right there? That's what you want to dash into, all right? And avoid the attacks, right? It's very simple. Except, boosting in this is entirely useless. And the only other button that you can, the only, you have t three options. You can boost, you can, charge up a homing a sh you can charge up a homing shot of your own by pressing the X button or the A button if you're playing with the Xbox and what it does right here as you'll see you charge up and then you shoot and you can destroy the co homing cones occasionally but I don't even think that that's what it's supposed to be used for the homing a shot literally has no use in this boss fight you do not need to use it it's literally there just for you to press buttons Okay. Also, I don't think you can damage the boss in the 2D form, so literally he just goes into the 2D plane just to kill time. I've never been able to damage him while he was on the 2D plane. And really, it, essentially all you're left with is holding down boost and hoping that you don't get hit by any random cheap shot or hoping that you can get close enough and actually do damage to him before he just completely backs away like he just did for a complete random distance, no reason, not well telegraphed at all, no excuse, nothing, right? This is the worst boss fight I have ever had in any game. And 
I guess it goes to show that a final boss fight doesn't necessarily mean that a game can't be remembered fondly because the rest of the game is amazing and anyone you talk to will probably tell you that Sonic Generations is a really, really, really good game. But it, there's just literally no point to having this in your, in having these mechanics in your boss fight. There's no point to switching uh, dimensions that you're playing in unless you... Or there's no point to switching the dimension you're playing in other than to just for Sega to recognize, hey, Classic Sonic's in this too. You know, he's here too. I don't get it. There's, there's no point. This entire boss fight is hold X to win or hold square to win. Whichever controller you happen to be using. It's a very dumb, dumb boss fight. And God, I hope... Also... I have had this game since 2011. I played it first on the PS3, and I beat it first on the PS3 like two weeks after I got it. That was the first time I've ever seen that laser attack. Just want you to realize that. Like, I have played this game numerous times, but the fundamental core gameplay behind this boss fight is hold X to win and listen to all the characters' comments about you doing things, even though you're doing nothing. Really, like at this point, I just basically started spamming boost to see if that would change anything because I've seen people do that too. Doesn't change anything, nothing happens. I don't get to him faster. You literally just have to hold X to win, it's press X to win. That is the concept behind this game. That's the concept behind the boost formula, but at least it works in like platforming stages and boss fights. At least this boss fight, no. Anyone who tells you that the Time Eater was a boss fight they enjoyed is lying through their teeth. I don't know how anyone could enjoy this. Oh, and if that wasn't enough... The final attack that you do in this game... Is not even something that, it's not even something that you normally do in the boss fight. You literally just press L... It, Press LB and RB to combine your powers. Press left bumper and right bumper to win the game. But th this is no different than press F to pay respects. It's fucking stupid. That's enough out of me. You can have your cutscenes. You get your final pose. Beat the stage of Supersonic. S rank. Eh, I'm in a bad mood. Have your cutscene. Fuck off. <laughs> Still warm. <laughs> Time travel. I'll admit, you weren't half bad, Sonic. Half bad? Are you kidding? He was all great. He collects how many? Wow. Where does somebody put all those gold rings? You know what? I don't know. I keep forgetting to ask. It was great teaming up with you. Hope you learned a few tricks that'll help you out in the future. I mean, the past. You know what I mean. Sweet! And you're only gonna get better! There's our ride! Hey, Sonic! Enjoy your future! It's gonna be great! There's some hollow sentiment in those words. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, Sonic, your future is not great. Your future is laced with mixed games, bad reviews, Shadow the Hedgehog, who apparently attends Sonic's 20th birthday. I'm just throwing that out there, 25th, 25th, whatever you wanna call it, I don't care. Uh, yeah, uh, no, Sonic, your future is not going to be great. It's going to be laced with a lot of problems, a lot of hate, a fan base that is basically cancer on the internet. 
you're, you've got a very, very, very troubled future ahead, but I was glad to be able to enjoy this part of it with you. Are you sure you saw a door over here? What? You were the one who said you saw a door over here! Well, I know it was one of us. Shut up and keep looking. What time is it? It's the exact same time as when you asked earlier, and it'll be the exact same time when you ask later. There is no time here! Let me just say that this was a brilliant plan that you came up with. Don't get too self-righteous. It'll be your plan pretty soon. I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to forgetting it. I heard that! Do we ever win? That depends on your definition of win. Beating Sonic! Oh. Well then, no. That doesn't give me much hope. Maybe I'll go back and get my teaching degree. That's not a bad idea. I've always enjoyed telling people what to do. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. I'm Nobody, and I'll see you next time.